Imagine that it's about 2045, and you live in one of the most densely populated cities around the world. And you're trying to get from point A to point B. And instead of the way that we do that today, which is sit in a ton of traffic in a car or in some other form of ground transportation, imagine you're doing that in the air. The capabilities needed to see that vision through are being built today. The future is being built today in the Boeing company. And we are excited about the opportunities that the new capabilities that we're seeing around artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, modern analytics capabilities will help us build that future. And in order to build that, we have to do some really awesome and amazing things across the way we design and engineer our products, the way that we manufacture them, the way our supply chain works, and how we support them with our customers. So I'm going to share with you today a little bit about what we have going on and how we're building this future today. And I'll first start with design. If I can get the clicker working the right way. There we go. Design. So in the past, we built planes on mylar, something like you know, paper. Um, we also built wooden models of planes. And in fact, when we made changes to the planes, we would make wooden model changes and fit them back into larger wooden models to make sure the fit and trim uh, would actually work. Today, we do a lot of design engineering work digital, digitally. In the future, we'll leverage artificial intelligence and we'll borrow from the principles of nature around selection and variation and allow us to use generative design techniques that will give our engineers options that are more plentiful than the human brain could ever, ever come up with that allows us to optimize the design of our products for safety and quality and productivity in the future. Generative design, leveraging artificial intelligence, is going to be a game changer in our world. Design will change and fuel the future. Once we establish that foundation of the digital thread in the design world, we move it into our manufacturing environment that allows us to have a digital twin of everything that we build. Today, we are building the largest wing ever for the 777X. That wing is soaked with sensors that in the future will allow us to provide even more performance to our customers. The digital twin capability that we have, um, we're actually building it today. We are digitally twinning manufacturing environments for future products out in the 2020s today because we're leveraging the capabilities that we have in front of us. And that will allow us to run simulations and models that will help us improve the productivity of our factories and the safety of our employees. This is all happening today and will just get better and better and better. The supply chain. What a wonderful opportunity to leverage artificial intelligence. What if we could talk to our supply chain? What if we could ask questions? Where is our part? Is it going to arrive on time? How is our supplier performing? How do we know that we have the parts that we thought we were supposed to have when we were supposed to have them? The entire ecosystem of the supply chain over time will be lit up with sensors and will access data that will bring, will bring that all together and leverage artificial intelligence to make sure that our schedules are right, that we're able to plan in our factories the right way, and that we drive efficiency from deep into the supply chain to the manufacturing floor. Huge opportunities for us. Data from aircraft. So this is not new to us. We've had software and sensors on our planes for many, many years. We've leveraged that to drive maintenance costs down and costs for our customers down, and you see that in the market today. Huge opportunities. The future, though, the future with sensors everywhere soaked on our airplanes in the entire ecosystem allows us to bring together the physical systems that we've had in the past and the digital capabilities that are emerging to bring insights to every part of the value chain. I had a discussion with one of our chief engineers the other day, which was kind of fun, 
Typically, our engineers, um, I kind of call them like Newtonian-based engineers. They are very physical, um, you know, physically focused. They focus on the airplane, the dynamics of the airplane. And this chief engineer was so excited about telling me stories about the 787. 787 has over 20 million lines of code, and it's soaked with sensors everywhere. And he's like a kid in a candy store being able to leverage all that data to improve the design process, fundamentally improve uh, the stability of the airplane, and improve the way that it's maintained through our customers. That in the end, helps all of us. Because what do we do? We fly on lots of planes all the time, right? So exciting times with more sensors on all of our aircraft in the environment. Our operations centers, super important. Lots of important questions that we want to ask there. The digital twins that we have, that we've created, uh, that started in the product development process, uh, that went into the manufacturing process, now allows us to have real data in the operations centers that will allow us to make better decisions. Again, the entire ecosystem is soaked with data, rich uh, with opportunity to bring together into that operations center. We also believe things like vision analytics will help in operation centers to give real-time views of what we're seeing in the ecosystem and the environment to help us make better decisions. Huge opportunities there. We're building this foundation today. Our global services business has a portfolio of digital solutions that look at things like airplane health management, crew scheduling, and fuel optimization in the future as we weave all that together and leverage AI capabilities, we'll be able to provide real-time feedback and decision-making to our operators and to the folks flying our vehicles around the world. Huge, huge opportunities. And in the maintenance world, this is a fun one. Uh, our maintenance teams today use data to make decisions about how to maintain our airplanes. Um, in the future, they'll be able to receive real-time streaming data off of planes. And they'll be able to preempt issues and, and put, put together, I'd like to think about the operations center piece of the maintenance center. You know, one of the, the biggest things that I want to see and we want to see going forward is what if we had a day when we didn't have flight delays, right? What if we didn't, yes. <laughs> what if we had a day when there were no flight delays? There's so much data in our ecosystem today um, as we leverage capabilities to pull out together, uh, we should be able to uh, preempt them in a different ways and make sure that planes stay in service and we all uh, stay moving to where, where we need to go to. So it's big opportunities in the maintenance world as well. And when we bring all this together, we focus on the life cycle value of our products. That starts with a digital foundation from a design perspective, it goes into the digital twinning in the manufacturing world, our supply chain, and then when we bring it all together, we're able to support our products in a better way and provide more value to our customers. So in the long run, each and every one of us can get to where we need to, when we need to, and the time that we expect to. Artificial intelligence will provide decision support. It will augment every piece of that value chain in ways that we've never seen before, and we're super excited about that. Our partners at Spark Cognition have shown us advanced capabilities that will fit into every piece of this equation uh, that I showed you today, and you'll start to see some of those come together. Uh, and in the end, once we uh, pull all that data together, it feeds right back to design. And, and what's important about that is that if you go back to where I started, in the 2040s, we may not have as many things flying around the air as we have on the ground, but we will have a lot. And safety and quality are so important in our world. Data will allow us to enable that world and make sure that it's just as safe as the world that we have today. So we're excited about the future, we're excited about artificial intelligence, and we hope that some of you come along in this journey with us. Thank you very much.